Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another Scorpio love reading, uh, a general Scorpio love reading. How are you, Scorpios? I hope this video finds you guys doing amazing. Uh, I hope you are looking towards by, uh, <laughs> brighter days, Scorpios. Uh, you know, um, your past, not even your current situation is the thing that, that really gives you the answer of your outcome. It is your perception. It's what you hold true, what you believe in. It doesn't matter what, you, what everyone else believes in when it comes to what you're trying to manifest. It only matters what you believe in with your connection, with your higher self, uh, your God, your Lord, your whatever you consider your, your power uh, and your connection with it. Because we have that same power. Uh, we just have to put that work in and do some sacrificing because it's like the flesh against the spirit here. You know, a lot of things, uh, you know, the flesh seems like it doesn't want to accept, uh, but it's, it's all over. It's so many uh, secrets. It's so many uh, uh, codes. It's so many hints uh, of your journey here, Scorpio. So although it is a lesson, uh, I still believe, one, 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 I see, uh, that, that you can be happy even in your lesson here, Scorpio. So Scorpio, thank you guys so much for your support. I think each and every one of you guys are tremendously amazing, and I thank you so much. Thank you, Scorpios. Thank you to all of my members. Thank you to everyone who is a Scorpio and who rocks with brown eyes intuitions. Uh, if you're new to this channel, you just so happen to be stopping by, uh, welcome. And of course, if you vibe with brown eyes' as energy, then I do ask that you please subscribe, uh, hit your notification bell to all, and leave me a hi vibrational comment Scorpio so Scorpio uh, this is going to be your love reading per Scorpio usual and we're beginning your reading with the true love cards here I haven't re re uh, pulled these for you in a while so true love you know this is a small deck she has a larger deck and there's a small deck here and it's th I think the small deck ha may have extra cards to it but underneath your deck which is your overall energy because I've already shuffled you do have compatibility you see, it's two people here. Compatible. It's, it's something is compatible here with you and, and this person. This is romance. We're talking about true love, and, and check it out, Scorpio. True love is not the world's definition of true love. Your true love could be what you desire, and everybody else may not be down with it. But whatever you desire can be considered your true love, Scorpio. So you do have um, compatibility. You also have spiritual maturity here. It's like you're growing and you're elevating here. You, you're really uh, tapped into your ancient knowledge, I feel like, because look how far you can go. It's almost like it's almost like you, you're, you're going, you're soaring, you're expanding, you're growing. Uh, your spiritual maturity does a lot of good things for you. It helps you in this race here, Scorpio. It does because you won't handle things the same way. You won't always depend on your emotions to uh, make a judgment call. Uh, you'll, be, you'll be tapped in, uh, mature spiritually, uh, which is your intuition here. And a lot of times, you know, you know, it, it gets the best of us. A lot of times our intuitions be tapping us on the shoulder and we don't take heed to it. Until later on, we say, God dang, something was telling me not to go that way. Dang, something told me to get up, but I just didn't. And, and it's so amazing, Scorpio, because just think about it. With all of the technology and all of the, the fast-paced energy going on in this world, uh, it seems like when spirit talks to you, that voice can be ever so peaceful and so subtle and so small that a lot of times it goes un unanswered. Because just think of all the frequencies you're connected with in this world electronically. And, and so I feel like when the universe is talking to you, it's going to be a small word. It's, it's like a small voice. You know that small voice when it be telling you not to do something, but you do it anyway. And then in hindsight, you were like, God, that's what it was. You was trying to tell me, wasn't your spirit? And you missed it. And that's, you know, I feel like that's all of us. So every once in a while, it's good to totally disconnect. And I feel like that will help you grow spiritually here. And this third card, which I'm just going to pull three because I'm going to read them here. Look, you also have maturity too, but I see this too. And I love this card, chivalry. Ha, ha, ha. Chivalry, Scorpio. You see that? It's like somebody looking at you like, you know, like, 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 like they want to open the door for you still. If you're outside and, uh, you know, you, you, let, let's say if you're going on a date with someone and you was trying to look all cute and you didn't bring your jacket <laughs> or your coat like you should have, 
you know, this person going to be a gentleman and take their jacket off to make sure you get warm. You know, you know, and I don't believe in uh, throwing your jacket on the ground to let a woman walk on it. No, I just think both of y'all need to walk around type of stuff. But Shiver is someone here who opens the door for you. Um, th this is a gentleman. I'm talking about a gentleman. Uh, do you recall ever uh, being in the presence of a gentleman? Okay, male Scorpios, do you ever recall being in the presence of a lady where you knew without a shadow of a doubt she was on her ish, okay? And Scorpio females, you know what I'm saying? You've been around a guy and they impressed you. you like, God dang, how long has it been? Can, 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 can we go further yet? I'm talking about somebody who make, makes you want to engage with them. Because of the, the the small things. And it's not all about sharing someone with gifts. But it's like w whatever happened to romancing your partner here. And I'm not saying people don't do that. But I feel like this is someone here who is trying to get to know you. Okay. And I feel like this person's coming in here. And they're going to they're, they're gonna show you that all the look. Yeah, chivalry is very much alive and well. Even in 2023. Somebody wants to shower you with gifts and show you. And remind you, Scorpio, just how fabulous you really are and you deserve it. So don't let no past crap have you feeling like you don't deserve somebody to spoil you every now and again. Now, God dang, they, you do. So let's read this, Scorpio, because I feel like it's good for you. Now, let's start off with your compatibility, which is your number five here, Scorpio. Oof, let's see, Scorpio. Scorpio, I tell you, this weather is so crazy. If you're from Arkansas, shout out to all of my neighbors here. You know how this weather is. I think it's going to be storming here soon. It's going to get up to 70-some degrees. <laughs> oh, my God, it's going to get up to 70-some degrees. So it says, the synergy of compatibility is based on being yourself and having the awareness to select a true match for yourself. See? That's what it is here. In order to attract the best match, Scorpio, or improve the relationship you have, the foundation stones need to be strong. Forget the superficial things that disappear or fade with time and age. Take time to become clear about what type of person and lifestyle are more compatible with you. See, and it's nothing wrong with that because guess what? If you're really going to be serious, when you meet someone, you automatically know whether or not you can, you know, you can flow with this person because they may be digging you. But what if you're not digging them back? It's not going to be fair to them, is it? And I feel the same way when someone comes to you. It's not fair for them to, to uh, you know, push upon you for selfish reasons, but they don't have anything or they're not willing to give. I feel like if everyone is uh, honest, be mature, be honest, you, you won't nobody be wasting their time here. Now, Scorpio, you know if you can handle which is telling you, it says forget the superficial things. It's like it don't matter if they got a receipt or hairline. It don't matter if they not need it. Don't matter if they bow legged, which that probably is a plus. Doesn't matter if they got these these little things that that fade in time as you get older, things change. It, it's about how do you feel about someone? How do they make you feel? I remember growing up, y'all, in and most most of my little uh neighborhood friends, they mama most of their parents were single. Every once in a while you find somebody whose parents were still together, but it's like the ones who were single, their mom always had some older guy friend, probably sugar daddy. But it always be someone here who is either they either they're an older guy, they they drive like you know what I'm talking about? They older or they drive a, a raggedy piece of crap, but they got a little money because they just stand you like that. But they're spoiling that girl mama. I'm talking about buying the kids clothes and the kids looking good. And but they talking about the man. That, that's the thing. You know, you know how kids get, get together and they get to making fun of uh, 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 Mr. George or Uncle George. But Uncle George paying them bills. <laughs> and y'all don't know what y'all mama, <laughs> y'all, y'all don't even know what y'all mama have to do with Uncle George. I'm just saying here. But isn't it something here? It's just crazy. Somebody who really wants to put their time in with you, you're going to find a reason to count them out. And then you're going to go run behind somebody here who ain't ready to settle down, who ain't giving you nothing. And you appraise them. See? Anyway, Scorpio, see, this is what it's saying, compatibility. 
It says tell you to make up your mind. Know what you want. You don't have to settle because when people come to you, they're not going to settle. But I feel like the energy that's coming to you is compatible with you. You're attracting this. So make sure your energy is what you want it to be. Now, you can't be be uh not you you can't expect the best and you're not striving for the best in other words now you have spiritual maturity here number 34 here spiritual maturity and see it's it's so beautiful here because it's a couple here you see how they're climbing together they taking this spiritual journey together and that's all it's telling us whether it's a, a romantic partner a family relationship your children that two of cups, that lover's energy, you're taking this journey together one way or the other here. But I feel like with this compatibility, you're about, you're about to be with someone here who is spiritually enlightened, someone here who is tapped into, look, their, their, their third eye chakra is open. They're, they're growing spiritually too. And you're going to find that you have a lot of things in common with this person. This is why you have compatibility here. Now, spiritual maturity here, number 34, which is... Number seven here. Let's see. So it says, honoring your own spiritual growth and that of your beloved is vital for a loving relationship. So it says, have the courage to explore beyond the beliefs and ideas that were handed to you as a child and be willing to take whatever steps are necessary to mature yourself. When you do this, Scorpio, you will attract the best person for you. If you are in an existing relationship, you can open doors to many new and exciting possibilities for you and your partner to enjoy. See? It says, honoring your own spiritual growth and that of your beloved is vital for a loving relationship. See? You got to give each other room to grow their, your own way. Even though you have a lot of things together, uh, compatible, everybody still has their own individual um, journey. Let's say if you're married, you still got to have that space. Everyone has to have their own space because everyone is, when you, when you take your last breath, you're going to be alone. Now you have chivalry chivalry beautiful beautiful energy this person look this person I, I first i thought this person had brought had rolled in on the horse or brought the horse but maybe he rolled in you know this a knight in shining armor he come dashing in here with a horse and he ain't broke a sweat this is somebody here who like i say this is a person who does take action here scorpio this is somebody who take action you don't have to worry about this person talking. They're talking. That's within a relationship. You know when they want you because they're going to come after you. It says to be chivalrous is synonymous with having integrity and courage. So it says, by drawing this card today, Scorpio, you are calling the energy of chivalry into your life. If you are a man, Scorpio, you are encouraged to consider ways in which being chivalrous uh, can enhance your life and to find more ways to demonstrate it. But beware, chivalry is not just about going through the motions. It's about understanding the subtle interplay of masculine and feminine energies and tapping into the sublime source of nature, warmth, support, and love that is available from the source and supported feminine. So if you are a woman, Scorpio, this card is asking you to look at ways you could allow more chivalry into your life and encouraging you to look for the chivalrous qualities in the men around you. When a man does something chivalrous, gallant, or polite for you, thank him and let him know that you notice his chivalrous quality. A compliment uh, such as this will surely motivate him to behave this way again in the future. See, you, got, you just got to encourage him. You just got to say, come here, baby, lay on this chest here. You did a very, very, very good job. <laughs> and they're going to keep on doing a good job. But that's with anyone. If you're letting them know that, they're, that, that they're, um, their deeds, their efforts is not going unnoticed or, or in vain, heck yeah, they're going to want to do more of it for you. But if you acting like, that's what you're supposed to do, man, I'm supposed to do it. No, they're going to be like, eek. <laughs> So let's see, Scorpio, because now, now your tarot is a trip, your overall energy, but we're going to see what's going on with your Scorpio. It's like Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Now check it out, Scorpio. Your overall energy here is the nine of wands energy. Now you could be blocking something off. I feel like you really got your guards up here because your feelings have been hurt. Who feelings been hurt, Scorpio? The Empress. 
Yep. And some of you guys trying to recuperate from it. Some of y'all... <laughs> oh, Scorpio. So, it's almost like you're saying, look, I don't have time. I, you, I done been through a lot. You know, I know what I deserve. Um, uh, I shouldn't have to settle for that. Or you shouldn't treat me like that. Um, and I just feel like you, you're just trying to align your energy back. You know, you, you're playing this safe. Um, but I, I, I feel like pretty soon your guards are going to be down. You're not, you're not going to always be this wounded soldier. You're going to be a, uh, a healed sur soldier that perseveres through the challenges of life in love. Because I feel like it's going to always be some type of challenge here, Scorpio, because it's not, it's not the battle. It's, I guess it's us in it. H how are we going to handle it? They're, they're guaranteed to come. But if if you if you fumble or you or you crumble and you fold every time you face with adversity, you would never grow. You would never be this empress to begin with here. Now it doesn't matter if you you, you got <laughs> whatever you got between your legs. It doesn't matter. This feminine goddess energy, this divine feminine energy here. Uh, so you could have children here, or you could just be saying here, you know, you know your worth here, and so. You're going to guard yourself. You're going to protect yourself here because you don't ever want to feel hurt again, Scorpio. Okay? <laughs> Could be dealing with the Libra here. Mm. Ha, you're my shining star. Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, see that? Ace of Pentacles is always surrounding you. You always have something amazing coming your way, Scorpio. But in this four swords energy, maybe you're resting a lot here. Maybe some of y'all finna find out you're pregnant because you sleep a lot. <laughs> They're gonna be like, God dang, you sleep again, Scorpio. That's gonna be because you're pregnant, okay? With this empress and that four swords. I'm just saying, okay? I'm just saying, okay? I'm just saying. All right, Spirit, what else for Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know? Hmm. They're hermit cards. Some of you guys are dealing with the Virgo. And some of y'all just staying quiet. Maybe you done ghost to somebody. Maybe you just giving them the, the run around and you don't want to hear nothing. Three of swords. Seven of pentacles here. Somebody waiting on something though. It's almost like you could be Scorpio, you know, got your guards up and, and you know your, you know, you know your worth and, and you're not settling. But at the same time, you're healing yourself. Uh, you're staying quiet here, but you could be waiting on somebody to reach out to you. You got this Ace of Pentacles here. Let's see. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Look, Nine of Cups. You say, I just want to be happy. Nine of Wands, Nine of uh, Cups here. You say, I just want to be happy, Spirit. I just want to be happy. Seems like something's going to come your way that's going to make you very happy. Now, there go that Nine of Pentacles again. Somebody keep letting you somebody. Look, you got nine, nine, nine here. Ooh, Scorpio, look at you. Look at you. See? Nine of Wands, nine of Cups, nine of Pentacles. See? Scorpio got the nine, nine, nine action going on here. Somebody's <laughs> somebody single. I feel like this is somebody single coming in at you again here. See? You have the full car. Perhaps it's some it's an Aries here. It's finna, finna, finna bust a move on you, Scorpio, and you could be so guarded. And it's almost like, it seems like if you're really reserving yourself and you're staying really to yourself and you're just building your life and you're just growing, you're just doing what it takes to make you happy, then it's like you're, you're it's like you done fell off the face of the earth here. The nine of wands, the four swords, the hermit card. It's like you done fell off the face of the earth here. So you, somebody could be look, somebody could be looking at you like you MIA here. Let's see here, because it looks like somebody's quiet. I'm talking like a church mouse. They like, have you seen a look? They go to four ones here. Some of y'all quiet because y'all laid up. <laughs> That's why you got a baby coming. Look at the will of fortune, the ace of ones here. Some of you guys. Like I said, somebody wants your attention, or maybe you got somebody is trying to get your attention. Or maybe you have someone else's attention. Three of Cups. Because somebody here trying to get your attention. Somebody that's single here. So it could be somebody here who you regret. Could be somebody here who you had a relationship with. Look. Think of your emperor. Mm -mm. <laughs> there they go. So you got Lib Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here. I see um, Virgo, 
I just see Virgo uh, and the, uh, Libra here. But you're guarded here. I can see you're guarded here. But someone feels like either they want to make you happy here or someone feels like you're the thing that makes them happy here. But I feel like they're going to have a hard time getting to you, though, Scorpio. God dang. Somebody's going to have it. You're going to make it hard for somebody to get to you. I feel like it's hard for them to get to you now. I feel like it's hard for them to get to you now is what I feel like. Or maybe both of y'all are playing a salad treatment. Maybe you and someone here is playing a salad treatment. I keep on seeing that emperor. That em Every time I see that emperor, that emperor keeps showing up. Now, this could be a child's daddy here, Scorpio, or just somebody here who uh, likes to run things, who likes to, you know, is used to controlling things, is used to uh, being able to handle things and to run things here. And that empress here, we know to you, you're divine here. I feel like you're just staying connected here. Let's see it. Okay, there you go. But you got this Ace of Pentacles coming your way, the Ace of Pentacles and this Four of Wands. So something is definitely happening. And you got your guards up here, but let's see if that's, is that you? Let, let me shuffle them again here. Let's see. I'm going to start off with this. Let's start off with this nine of pentacles here. All right, spirit. Why is this nine of pentacles here for Scorpio? That is Taurus. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn is earth energy here. Uh, that's single. That's self-sufficient. Uh, that's some, somebody here who... Somebody could be, you know, only thinking about themselves right now. Let's see. But you got the Empress. Look, Ten of Cups. Page of Cups. All right, Spirit. Why is this Nine of Pentacles here for Scorpio? Clarify this Nine of Pentacles for Scorpio. Why is this here? Nine of Pentacles is... Nine of Pentacles is <laughs> Nine of Cups. Mm. So somebody's single. Someone is happily single here. Look like somebody is single and they happy. Maybe that's you. Or maybe this is somebody here who is single and they're, they're, they're going towards their wish fulfilled because you got... So you got the Page of Pentacles. Now you have that High Priestess again. They go there quiet. Once again, either someone here is sneaking or maybe you're not talking. Because after all, I feel like it's almost like you're not talking to someone, but they're but they're they coming to you with some type of offer here. Look, they go the devil card. Mm. Why is this page why is this nine of pentacles here for Scorpio spirit? Now this could be you. What this could be you, nine of single uh, nine of pentacles. You already have the nine of cups. You could be saying, you know, I'm blocking off things that no longer serve me. I'm, I'm having to heal. Uh, I'm staying quiet. I'm staying to myself. I'm just, I'm just looking out for me right now. Uh, uh, and that may be bringing you emotional fulfillment, just being single here. Could very well be you because you got the nine of cups here. You could be saying you're happy single because you don't have any attachments like this. All right, nine of pentacles. But they go that page of cups again, though. Somebody is coming in to somebody here. Somebody, somebody's apologizing or somebody's crushing on you. Somebody see somebody feels like, and then you not you don't see it. You don't you don't see something because I feel like you you doing your own thing. You some of y'all got a person blocked here, and you wouldn't know if they were calling you now anyway because y'all don't went on. And they just they just dangling. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Page of Cups. Look. Five of Cups. There's some more Cups here. You got the Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Page of Cups, Five of Cups here. Now, it could very well be someone is coming in to Scorpio single. Uh, they're finally able to come towards someone here who makes them emotionally fulfilled. They're coming in with an apology because... They're missing you. They're regretting how things turn out. And you notice in this picture, they said, screw whatever they lost. Once again, they, they're holding their, their focus is back on this, this one-on-one -on -one love here, the two of cups here, which is you and them. See, could be another water sign too, Scorpio. Let's see now. 
What's up with this Empress here, Spirit? Clarify this Empress for Scorpio. Why is the Empress here for Scorpio? Clarify this Empress for Scorpio. The Empress is <laughs> the sun. Mm -mm. I say you what? You got a lot of growth going on around you. You use a lot of happiness here. Look, the sun card, the king of cups. They go to the king of cups again, Scorpio. Maybe that's you. But maybe that's somebody coming in to you. Whoever this person is, somebody's coming to you. They're single. They ain't got it's 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 steady being stressed and highlighted because the nine of pentacles keeps coming out. And I would not think it was you unless this page of cups was here. Somebody's finna apologize to you about something. Could be a Leo, could be a Libra. But this is like someone that you have, you're glowing now, Scorpio. You energetically, you're glowing here. You see that? Something is going to start growing. Something is growing around you, Scorpio. Maybe it's your belly. <laughs> you know, there go that King of Cups again. Clarify this Empress for Scorpio. Why is the Empress here? I just saw the chariot. The Empress. Mm. King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. So you got, you got all made. You got, look, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. You already have the Ace of Pentacles on here. This person trying to come in and bring you some, something that you've been waiting for or something you wanted here. Somebody's trying to be happy or somebody trying to make you happy. Okay? <laughs> okay? This the chivalry guy. <laughs> It's the chivalry guy. Scorpio, you, you know the chivalry guy. We, we were just talking about the Yeah, yeah, them. <laughs> oh my gosh. Could be a Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. You got a lot. You got you got uh, the Empress and the King of Swords here. Look, you got you got the Empress, the Sun card. Okay, oh, so you got two major arcanas right here. But this Ace of Pentacles came out again. This is someone here who I feel like has been real. Now, it could be them quiet. Now, you could have taken a break while they're quiet. You guys could both be laying low. Your position could be you guarded, you ain't saying nothing, you just doing you. And it seems like their position is they quiet, but they doing other things and you don't even know what they're doing because I feel like neither one of you guys are saying anything. Nobody is saying nothing. Y'all just letting it be whatever it is. And for the most part, you may be okay, Scorpio. But obviously, if you're disconnected from this person, they've been doing something else in their life because they're this nine of pentacles. Keep, it could have been the king of pentacles. No, it's the nine of pentacles showing up. So this is representing they're single. So obviously, they obviously had someone else, but they don't now. This is why they, they looking at you like you the empress. Ooh, Scorpio, see? Let's see why this nine of wands here for Scorpio spirit. Clarify this nine of wands for Scorpio. Clarify spirit. Nine of wands is the five of wands here. Someone is wounded here. Maybe this is you. Maybe you wounded Scorpio because you this per you was too busy. <laughs> Maybe you got wounded because you was fighting for this person here. But this them because now I see the knight of swords and the fool card. This person is wounded because of their external. Either this person is is has been through a lot of things because of inner conflict. Maybe this person is their own worst enemy here. You know, when, when you don't address issues, it just it don't it don't go nowhere. It just stays suppressed. And and somebody come in your life, they're only gonna trigger you. And that's for Scorpio too. When you don't deal with it, it don't go nowhere. It's still there. And it's gonna show its ugly face here. Could be an Aries here. So see, y'all relationship was just hanging there. But somebody's finna bust a move here. This is somebody here who... <sighs> I don't feel like this person has a bone to pick with you, Scorpio. I just feel like this person is like, that's the only way they can do it is if they rush in to do it because maybe they're nervous. You know, especially if you guys have not been communicating, because it just seemed like both of y'all done fell off the face of the earth. Ain't nobody doing nothing. Nobody saying nothing. But 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 they're definitely thinking about you, but you're not saying nothing to them, and they're not saying nothing either. 
but they're behind the scenes plotting and planning to come back. Because you make this person happy. Now you have this four swords here. See this person? This person, the time you was away from this person, maybe this person had to do a lot of soul searching themselves here before they come back. So they had no to come in because it could also represent that this Empress card with the Sun card here with this King of Swords, maybe Spirit had to enlighten this person. Remember, we just saw the hangman. See, they go to hangman. Spirit had to show this person, show this person something here. And what Spirit told this person that look who you're dealing with. Now, if you really in, in, admire Scorpio like that, if you really look at Scorpio like this, then you're going to have to come in. You can't just come in here and just say it. You have to actually take action to do it because there is an opportunity. Now, you, you can do it. It's up to you. See, this person is aware of Scorpio. That's why you're the Empress and not the Queen of Cups. Whoever this person is does look up to you. They said, no matter how high, no matter how high I get, I still be looking up to you. They said, no matter how high you get, Scorpio, they still going to be looking up to you. See? Ha! See there? They said they don't care how haughty, how dark, how detached, how robotical. They still look up to you. How can they not when you shine so brightly? Your light shines, Scorpio. Spirit told this person, I feel like this, I'm, I'm going to clarify this uh, hermit. I feel like this is them. The time when you've been, been apart. Now, this could have been you healing, recovering, you know, maybe sleeping a lot. For some of y'all, y'all done got pregnant. <laughs> With that Empress card, so you are sleeping a lot. You probably just, you know, just relax and look at the weather. You know, you getting sleepy, sleeping a lot. And this person quiet. Both of y'all stand to yourselves and stuff. And so I feel like this Hermit card is them. Let, let's see here. All right, Spirit. Why is this Hermit card here for Scorpio? It could be dealing with a uh, Virgo here. Spirit, clarify the Hermit for Scorpio. Why is this card here for Scorpio? Clarify the Hermit. Oof. Clarify the Hermit. Saw the devil. <laughs> what is this? Look, four swords. Mm. So this person could be sleeping a lot and thinking a lot. Somebody's sleeping and thinking. Sleeping and thinking. Ooh, sleeping and thinking. Why? Scorpio, because the emperor. Mm. That's them. They're sleeping and thinking. Ooh, shut your mouth about, about a relationship with the high fan, Scorpio. With somebody here who they're choosing now. Because after all, look, don't come for me. I can't. Look, they're single now. It's like you picked the right time, but you. I feel like you picked the right time to disconnect from this person. It just seem like if you if, if somebody has options and you're crowding them and pleading your case, they, they usually don't choose you. But when you move on and you represent your 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 standards, your, you let them know that, you know, whatever, you know, I'm just going to keep on doing me. I'm not going to fold. I'm not going to pass out. I'm just going to continue to move forward and elevate in my own life because I can do better in this empress. But it's this emperor showing up. They feel like you're their match. They feel like you're their match, Scorpio. Ooh, the emperor and the lover's card. <laughs> Some of y'all dealing with a Taurus here. Aries or Gemini or Virgo here. That's what it is, Scorpio. See there? That's them and their four swords. Or maybe both of y'all doing the same thing because you got the four swords again here. All right, Spirit, why is the four swords here? Again, for Scorpio, why is this four swords here? Four swords. It's the seven of cups. If somebody was confused, maybe somebody, maybe someone had other options, but they were confused. Or somebody really had to, really had to take a break and really had to just stay to themselves. See, like I say, I feel like if somebody really had to stay to themselves now, that wouldn't have been a good time to be like, well, well damn, well, well, what do you want? Do you even know what you want, uh, uh, ex? Do you, do you know? Well, do you love me? Do you, you know, if you would have been doing this or pulling at this person any kind of way, I feel like it would have been harder for them. 
But you know, when you go on with your life and act like you're not bothered, even if you are, you still have to move on for yourself. This is what helps this person choose from a, uh, in a king of swords in a more logical way. Because obviously, Scorpio, there's nobody like you with the seven of cups. They have not found that chemistry with anyone else, obviously. Because they keep showing up. But see, it's more to that. I'll tell you why it's so much more than this. Because you got the Hierophant and the lovers here. So they, they feel a divine connection with you. And they may have never told you, especially in this King of Swords energy, but I'm telling you what these cards are saying. This your emperor. I feel like it's your divine masculine here. They keep showing up your baby daddy, your baby mama. If you got the will of fortune, see, there it is again. Where the luck is on your side here. Fate, destiny, a karma here. Something has changed. And what's changed? This person ain't, it's almost like, for some of y'all, Scorpio, and I keep on saying is you met somebody at the time they was with somebody else, but you really, really wanted this person, but you got tired of waiting on them. But it has changed now. Now they're available, and some of y'all don't want them now. <laughs> now that they're available, Scorpio, some of y'all don't want them now. Some of y'all may not want them now. Four of swords, seven of cups, four of swords, seven of cups here. Someone, someone was resting and contemplating about the choices in love that maybe they had. Maybe it's you, but like I say, the four swords showed up for this emperor. Clarify this four swords for Scorpio. I feel like all those other options just brought in confusion to this person here. Check it out, <laughs> Scorpio. Look, the hermit. <laughs> Let me show you again, Scorpio. Look, the magician. Look here. This person ain't no joke. I'm telling us what they doing. Oh, Scorpio. They're serious. <laughs> the hermit card. They got the hermit again. This is someone here who is trying to find some answers here about Scorpio. Please believe it's about you and the relationship here because you've obviously made an impact on their life here. But it's like... What do they do now that they're single here? I feel like this is somebody here, Scorpio. They probably made a, made a mess out of your connection. They done finally ended something else. But how do they come back to you when you're the one the whole time? The hermit card is the four swords here. See, they're interested. This person has been sleeping a lot. This person has been sleeping a lot and praying a lot and meditating and soul searching and going within to find answers here, Scorpio, because this person is trying to uh, be happy. And like I said, they're trying to take control over their life here and choose wisely here. Uh, do what's best for them. Could be dealing with children. Do what's best for their children here. Uh, and, and they're definitely looking to settle down here. But they have to be with someone here who they connect with here. And they connect with you, with the emperor and the empress. Ooh, Scorpio, see? See, once again, you got now you have the four of swords, the seven of cups, and the hermit card again. It's them, or that's the emperor. Emperor. <laughs> that's the emperor. That's the emperor trying to make it happen. Scorpio could be a Pisces. See? They're trying to make it happen. You know they are because all they do, let me show, let me show you twice. Because they're they're confused on about on, on how to make it happen. This is why they keep going with ends. It's, twi it's here twice. See? The Hermit card, the Four of Swords. The Hermit card and the Four of Swords. That's them. And this person is trying to manifest you. But they're trying to figure out how. Ooh. They're trying to figure out how to get you, Scorpio. Wow, Scorpio. Because in their mind, you're the perfect one for them. But right now... I feel like spirit is showing them because they know they can do it. They said they'll do whatever they have to do, Scorpio, because they're in love with you. I feel like this person feels like you're the one. Now you have this nine of cups here. This other nine of cups. Spirit, clarify the nine of cups. Why is this nine of cups here, spirit? Nine of cups is strength. Could be dealing with the Leo here. So this is someone here who I feel like is trying is, is standing in their, their power 
Uh, they're going in the courage here because they're going after love. I told you I seen that king of cups. Or they go that queen of cups because they want love because they've made up their mind here. This two of wands. See that this, this person has been planning this. They've been planning this, while, planning this while they lay on their bed and rest and think. that This is something that, that, that they constantly think about, especially with their magician card, because this is what they're doing. They're replaying this over and over again. Got it twice here. See that this person sees a future with you, Scorpio. But the problem is, now you have the nine of swords. The problem is, they're worried. They're scared. Because they done finally made up their mind, but they're scared. This person is scared, Scorpio. Because <sighs> like I say, if you're guarded towards this person or you ain't been talking to them or nothing, they ain't been saying nothing, Scorpio. Now they're single. And they like, but all they do is think about you. And like I said, it's your emperor. Now you have the ace of pentacles twice. The second one here. Spirit, clarify this Ace of Pentacles for Scorpio Wise is here. Ace of Pentacles is the Three of Swords. See? Maybe this person, maybe this is how you guys left the relationship. Like I said, if this person's coming in here single, obviously there was somebody else. But it's like this person is trying to get, it's like they're trying to make up for it. You got the Six of Swords here. The Ace of Swords, somebody trying to come clean. The same Ace of Pentacles again with the Knight of Pentacles here. I feel like this person has always been thinking about this with you with this Two of Wands. But, you know, they was not in the Nine of Pentacles at the time. And so, obviously, they cause you some heartache and pain. They're aware of it. But they're trying to resolve it with the Six of Swords. Because they want to have a, a brand new, they want victory and they want to, they want to have a breakthrough in this relationship, because I feel like they want more now. Now, because they ain't got they ain't nothing stopping them. So now you have the three of cups here. Now I feel like this is them wanting to reconnect with you. Four, four, four. This is somebody here who, um, you know, they, 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 they cherish your friendship. They cherish your energy, and maybe they want to invite you out here. So let's see, or maybe they want to reconnect with you or reconcile. So why is this three of cups here for Scorpio spirit? Clarify three of cups. It's also celebration, too. You also have the four ones. Maybe you guys are going to run into each other at some type of event here. Maybe you never know. You never know. You saw that Wheel of Fortune. You could be at the right place at the right time, and all of a sudden, your heart going to jump out your chest because you're going to see your person <laughs> and what you're going to do. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right, Spirit. Three of Cups for Scorpio. Just make sure you look in your best. All I can say. Just handle it like the empress that you are. The chariot card, a cancer here. See, they coming, honey. There's somebody here who is here to overcome something uh, in order to come to you. They coming to you, Scorpio, because they have had a tower moment. <laughs> oh, they had a tower moment in their life, which I feel like is why they're coming in single. Something happened in their life. Let's see. One more card for this Three of Cups. Mm. Mm. Check it out. The Lovers. See? See? Got the Lovers card twice here. They're choosing you over here, the Lovers. It's over here. This is what they didn't introspect. This is a, uh, the Hermit card, the Four of Swords, the Emperor, the uh, Hierophant, and the Lovers card. They've been thinking about this with you. But they just left something here. See, they're coming back in here to uh, celebrate and, and reconnect with you. Because they just had a tower moment, a uh, ending with someone else. See, now they're free. Now they're free. This is why they're coming in the Nine of Pentacles. They had a tower moment with their other lover, which, which is why this, why, why this was caused. But this person is going to tell you the truth. Along with this opportunity to start over again, Scorpio. Now, hey, you ain't got to stone them in the comment section. Let them live, okay? Whether you want them or not, I'm just telling you, look, this is what the cards come out. This is what, look, for some of y'all, they're trying to make it right. Could be a Libra. The Libra card could have been something that they went through court. Could have been that too. 
See, they could see that that could be that that they something with this other lover ended here with the tower card. The lovers and the justice card here it could be a Gemini, Air, a Scorpio, or or Libra here. See, it's what happened here. It could be a Cancer. I feel like that's what it is. Now, your last card here is the Four of Wands here. Now, this is a commitment card here. But you got the Hierophant. I feel like this person here. Now, it could be, too, now that I see it, this person could have been, too, whoever they were with, they're now just friends. They could have just left it as friends. But then again, that's a celebratory energy. But they could be moving away because now they're only just friends here because it could be that too maybe maybe they're just friends now scorpio maybe they're not a relationship just friends but i feel like they're coming back to you and this is who they were with with the tower card that that ended so now you have the four ones here spirit why is the four ones here for scorpio four ones four ones is look there you go again that's you scorpio see Three of Cups, there go again. See, they coming to you. For some of y'all, this person going to invite you out somewhere here, Scorpio. Because you got the Three of Wands with the Chariot. I mean, the Three of Cups and the Chariot over here. Now you have the Four of Wands and the Three of Cups. See, celebration time. This, this could be, look, some of y'all, maybe they finna propose to somebody. Let's see. Four of Wands for Scorpio. This is a King and, King and Queen of Cups energy. There is love between the two of you, I feel like. Why is this here, Spirit? Huh? Ace of Wands. <laughs> there go that trip again. I feel like somebody want to take you out here. For some of y'all, it could be another Scorpio here. Let's see. One more card for the Four of Wands, Spirit. Page of Swords, see? It's somebody who been keeping an eye on you. You know they have, Scorpio. It wouldn't be your reading if they wasn't watching you. This is somebody here who is who who has been keeping tabs on you. Even though you're quiet, they're quiet. They've been watching you. They have. Some of you guys, this person been watching you at work. They've been keeping tabs on you, though, but they ain't said nothing. Because I feel like you ain't said nothing. But I feel like they're regretting it, or maybe you're regretting it. But check it out. They want it. Ten of Cups. With the emperor, there they go again. They don't want to hold back anymore. They don't have to now. <laughs> they don't have no reason to hold back now, Scorpio. They single. Nine of swords, but they're worried. This person, like I say, you got that king of swords. This person is an overthinker. They're scared because they're in their feelings. There you go. I knew you got the queen of cups. They go that king of cups because they're in love with you. This is why this person worries so much because see this person, you remember they showed up as the king of swords, but this is their, uh, this is how they're really thinking about it. But this person could have been detached the same old, same old here because they were with someone else here, but they in love with you now, Scorpio. See here, they're going to reach out to you. Page of Pentacles. I feel like somebody's gonna, I feel like this person's gonna invite you out, okay? If they can reach you. I feel like somebody's gonna invite you out somewhere here. The page of Pentacles, page of Wands. For some of y'all, this big dad, there they go. See? There's somebody here who is ready to settle down. See? They want it, see? This is why this person has been doing a lot of soul circle. Once again, this is somebody here who is making a very, very life change here. Uh, they're about to make a, a very, very serious decision. And I feel like this person is serious. They, If they settle down, they're going to settle down, especially if they're a wise or mature person. They're not going to be keep doing this because I feel like, you know, they're getting tired. And, and then they're in love with you. See? See, this person ain't telling nobody. This person moving in silence here. This moon card, like I said, Scorpio, some of y'all not going to see it coming. It's going to surprise you because it's the, it's time. For some of y'all, it's just time here. And this time is going to be successful here. It's going to be successful here. But this person going to put something on your mind here, Scorpio, if you want them. And this is for whoever. I don't know who this is for, but somebody's trying to put something on your mind, Scorpio. They're trying to get you back once again. I feel like y'all, both of y'all playing the silent treatment game. But this person is doing more in their quiet time. Oh, they making moves in their head. 
This person's been playing in the future the whole time, Scorpio. Like I said, you've always you've always been uh, somebody who this person won't. It just wasn't the right time once again. But with that will of fortune steady showing up, it's time for somebody. And you got the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Emperor, the Empress, the Magician here, the Nine of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles twice. I mean, it's Ace of Wands. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> the Lovers. It's a whole bunch going on in here. Like I say, this is a higher fit. This person, the sun card, queen of cups, the, the strength card, see? This person coming in, Scorpio, after they've had to do some changes in their life, it has changed everything, Scorpio. And for whoever this is for, you're going to see a change in this person here. And with that three of cups, maybe you should go slow with this person if you're doubting them. But I don't see anything wrong with talking to this person. I ain't talking about somebody who did you horrifically wrong. I'm talking about somebody who you was in love with and you feel like it, you can repair it. And look, I can't help what come out. I ain't controlled it. Maybe that's what spirit, maybe, maybe that's whose energy keep on shining. Now, you know when you hurt, your energy is more, <laughs> more out there. It, I guess it shouldn't be, but that's what came out, Scorpio. So that's what it is. So that's your reading, Scorpio. So if this video resonates, please like, share, and subscribe, Scorpio. Hit that notification bell. Leave me a comment. And I'll talk to you on the next Scorpio video. Bye, Scorpio.